The birds are chirping and the day is still going. Look at this. Oh yeah, don't be jealous <laughs> of my brand new 21 inch mower and it's not a Troy build, it's a Craftsman. I guess they're the same thing. It looked like the same thing. We're gonna find out. We drag this out of here. Yeah, man. This thing weighs more than the Troy built did. What does it say? 81 pounds. It has to be all packing material, huh? <laughs> you need a knife? No, you just need some keys. Any one to do. You could even use like a Chevy truck key. You just go like that. And when in doubt, you use brute force. Just like that. Dust blocker. Hmm. Yeah, oh, that's a shiny one. Nice and clean. We got our little surprise pack here. Throw that down. All right. Yeah, this is just like the Troy built. You know, it's from Lowe's, so it's the same place. I'm sure it's the same stuff. I know how all that works. Same factory, same company owns them all. This is the Honda motor. My last couple of them had Briggs, but I've always had good luck with the Hondas. This is where the air filter is at right here. Ooh, nice and clean. Yeah. You can shake them, shake them off there, my clock. Put them back in. You run one of those without a filter in it, it will suck everything in there and it'll be right down in here. You'll be cleaning this out. These things are easy to put together. You have to adjust the handle. Look how short it is. They go down through the frame right now. They're like down in there. So you yeah, loosen that and slide it out. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Why is this freak buying a 21 inch mower when he's got a 48 inch Ferris right here? <laughs> right? Well, it's because I do have a couple small lawns. And when you are in a neighborhood that's full of small lawns and you do one or two, you get noticed and more people come along and there you go. You got three or four, five, six, seven, eight. It just goes like that. Somebody come by here. Don't come by here. Somebody is coming here. What the heck, man? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep the camera on because I'm not expecting anybody. I'm not expecting anything. Don't be scared. Never be scared. Hello, my friend. Hey. One little one for you. Oh, wow, well, I do have something coming. All right. All right. And yeah, that's me. That's you. That's you. <laughs> I came you. to the right house. <laughs> All right. All right, baby. Thank you. I just broke the new mower. <laughs> All right. I have no clue what this is, so we'll just toss it in there. <laughs> it does have my name on it, though. I told you before, I do not even know how to make Geek to Freak vlogs anymore. Every time I do something freaky like that happens, and I think this is stupid. Um, it ruined my whole video, I quit. <laughs> or, this is garbage, I'm not gonna put it out. But I'm gonna put this one out there. Anyway, but yeah, I'm, but it did change the flow of everything and I'm done. This isn't a how-to on how to put it together or a real official unboxing. I'm just showing you. I got this little more, I was just sitting on it. And I got it because I do have a few small yards. My other mowers, I've been running them here and there still throughout the years and they've all, wore itself out they were worn out before and that's my point with these i used to call them throwaway mowers now they're you know 300 dollars mowers you know you don't want to throw it away right back then you could get them for like you know a couple hundred bucks and stuff and you get a 200 dollars mower you live in the city all your lawns are small you go out every day you make 200 bucks with it so one day bought you the mower and then you cut every day thousand dollars a week whatever you and just with this mower you make twenty thousand dollars 
or thirty or forty thousand dollars or whatever, however many lungs you're gonna have. But so I didn't sweat the fact that I was going through one every year because this isn't a commercial mower. These are homeowner models, okay? This isn't meant to last. It's, it's meant to cut a yard, your home, once a week, normal size. And what are you gonna do? 30, 35 cuts or something at your house with that? Maybe 40? And then, you know, that's like, you do more than that in one week with it if you're in business in a small little city, right? So it's supposed to last years, but you're doing a year's worth of damage to them every single week. So don't expect them to last. What's gonna happen is the wheels are gonna get bald, handlebars are gonna crack off, cables are gonna break, stuff's gonna fly off and go shooting off throughout the yard, right? You can't find it, <laughs> whatever. It's the little parts that will break on them. The engine's gonna keep going, but everything else is gonna be crap. So you want, you'll get to where you want a fresh one, stuff like that. Don't be scared, grab, grab yourself a mower and go make some cash. I got a couple new first time cuts, small yards. I'm gonna use and abuse this thing right off the bat. It's gonna get tortured. And see that stuff over here? I brought some stuff home from a little rake up cleanup on a, a new new yard I got. And I grabbed some of the stuff while I was there and I didn't have to go to the dump. Now I got my own dump. It's called my backyard. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> I just wanted to show you something. I'm gonna put it together and then tomorrow I'm going to drop it on one of these new yards that I'm going to try and get sort of under control so that I can have it for the season. Why? Because I just can't say no. <laughs> Hold on, I got to show you this. Look, have you ever seen a dipstick that clean? It'll be the last time it looks like that. Look, it's a bag of oil. That's new to me. I've never had a bag of oil. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> the heck, I don't even know how to do it. Whoa, crap. Well, like I told you, this thing was going to get trashed one way or the other. What the heck, man? I mean, it just pours out of here. You should be using a funnel. Yeah, I guess I should. I thought it was a squeeze bag. It's not all in there. There's some in here, right in the handle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. Oh, dang. I would definitely recommend putting all the oil in it. That would be a bad move. Okay, not putting this oil in here. <laughs> Just putting some gas in and start trying to start it up. Well, that would be a um, big mistake. Dang. Pour some of that in there. Drip, drip. Yeah, I'm not scared. There you go. All right. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, it's full. Okay, first pull. Let's see. Let's just see. <laughs> first pull. Now about that one. Oh wait, I should just have it those. No, it doesn't have no little pullback choke. Dude, seriously. Hey, seriously. <laughs> It just got the oil in there, the gas, first pull. Man, sounds good. I, I'm telling you, these Honda engines, man, they've always been good. Wow. It's a pretty one.
birds are still chirping, but it's getting late. I need a shower. I need to wrap it up. Look, I got it in here. I think since I'm now in a good mood, I'm going to show you if I can tomorrow and get on the yard for the first time. Um, this is what came. All right, now, I wasn't expecting this. It's international, but I, now I remember what it is. All right, here's the story. I'll sit up here by the mower. <laughs> so this box was in there, all right? This thing, it came from Indonesia. I was talking to a guy on Facebook months ago, months ago, and he said he's going to send me something. <laughs> well, you see this. Some of you know I collect die-cast cars. All right, so what kind of die-cast car? I love 57 Chevy die-cast cars, by the way. A lot of you already know that. We packed this thing cool, huh? That's a cool box. What do you see this? It's a 57 Chevy. Come on now. Don't you dare drop this. I'm being extra careful. Okay. Oh, shoot. I did geek it up. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, though. Okay, this is custom. All right. Okay. I'm going to show it to you like this real quick, and then we're going to do a close-up or something. Look at this sucker. All right. I had to get out of here where you can see it better. All right. Look at this. This is a Hot Wheels 57 Chevy, custom made. What he did was he stripped it. He took it apart, you know, put different wheels on it. But he, he stripped it down, and he did this all by hand. He hand carved this. Is that wild or what? Look at the detail. I was just talking about hours and hours of work, like with one of these mowers. You're talking hours and hours of work here. I'm not talking no 40 hour work week. I seen how he did it and it's amazing. Oh, I love this. Got a new mower, a new car. The birds are still chirping. Today was a pretty good day. But I have a feeling tomorrow's going to be even better. Oh, still looking pretty. It's about to go right on this yard. Okay, there's a new lawn. Well, new to me. And I trimmed it already. I went around some stuff around these trees. And I did rake up like some big piles of leaves and picked up some huge sticks and things. This will look better eventually in the future. Right now, we're going to put the new mower on it and just kind of try and bag up some of this. See what happens. I'll leave the sound on so you can hear if I'm hitting any sticks or rocks or whatever, because I'm not scared to do that. Adjust it all the way down to like that, but that'd be bad. <laughs> We're going on three here and four in the back. Why? Because I feel like it.
not as much as you would think, right? Maybe I should set it lower. Uh, this would be good enough for the first time. this time. Well, there you go. <laughs> the first cut. And it's a work in progress. It got some attention now and it will get better everything will be okay in the future i muddied up the tires it's not all bright and shiny anymore but that's okay that's what they're made to do get dirty all right look at all this look at all that huh yeah yeah oh feels good geek to freak lawn care <laughs>